in chapter three, we will return to linear regression and some basic econometric concepts. Um, while classic machine learning, which we covered in the previous chapter, is mainly concerned uh, of how to make good out of sample predictions for this dependent variable. Um, many empirical economic studies and also econometrics is mainly concerned with the estimated coefficients of such a linear regression, so these beta hats. And the typical questions are whether some particular coefficients, beta hat k, so the k stands for one index here, so like beta hat 1, consistently estimates a particular causal effect. So how does affect, for example, the variable x1, the dependent variable y? And we're also interested how precise this estimator is. And how sure we are whether kind of the true effect is positive or negative. So this chapter digs deeper into the corresponding methodological background and introduces corresponding economic concepts like standard error, coefficients of the best linear predictor, consistency, bias, confidence intervals, p-value, significance, and some more concepts. Some of those concepts you probably have heard um, before, some you may hear the first time, and I think when one typically encounters these concepts, they may seem fairly abstract, and it's really not sure what it exactly means and why we need them, but I think kind of econometrics and empirical economics, you really have to um, learn by repeating these concepts and see them in different examples. So, um, and in the end, your understanding will grow, I guess, every time you, you study such a concept, and they are important to understand what's going on in a lot of empirical research papers and uh, to understand what is written when they say something like this uh, uh, coefficient is significant. Also. In this section, we will look at a lot of um, simulated code, but I also will look at one empirical data set, um, which uh, I adapted from the air package called Wooldridge. Uh, and then the data set is called attempt. I, I slightly uh, renamed the variables and dropped some uh, variables. And it was originally conducted uh, by two professors who have taught an introductionary microeconomics class at Michigan State University. And maybe let's directly take a look at the data set and some R code. I have the data set in this files exam CSV. I can click on it and say import data set, and I uh, don't need to write the R code myself. So it takes some time to uh, to scan it, and then it basically um, um, makes already a proposal which sort of R code I best use to um, to import it. And this looks good. So let's say import. And um, then I go back to my script here, and I can go here to the, um, uh, now I can look here. Basically, this was the code that has been used to import it. So it uses this package read r, uh, and then the function um, read c3. Okay, I need it. Uh, bracket and I save it in a variable named dat instead of exam. So I run this again, and here I have this data set dat. I can click on it in the global environment, and we um, have uh, four columns. So um, exam uh, is basically the score, so the number of points in the final exam, and we can take a look at it. So I type just directly here range dat dollar exam. And I see, so the number of points goes between 10 and 39. Homework is the number of uh, submitted homework problem sets. So this was uh, probably voluntary in this course. Um, and uh, we see that people have submitted between one and eight problem sets. So probably eight is the maximum number of problem sets. And then we have here two um, more numbers, a GPA that stands for a great um and the p i don't know and uh then we have an average um uh, so this is kind of the average grade and this pre stands for prior uh and um so this is the average grade 
that the student had in all uh, previous semesters uh, at this university. And um, so the, uh, if you look at this range, um, range that uh, pre GPA, so we see it goes uh, between 0.859 and 3.9. So like in the, the numerical grading system in the US goes between zero. So zero is a fail, that's the worst grade. Uh, and the best one would be a 4.0. So one has almost a 4.0 as average grade. Okay, so this was kind of the average grade in previous semesters, higher grades are better. And we also have the complete average grade in the same semester uh, where the microeconomics class took place. Let us now run a linear regression where we uh, regress the exam score on the number of submitted homeworks. Maybe let's stop for a short quiz. So if I run uh, this code now, will this work without an error or will, will it throw an error?